everyone, welcome back. Um, I have a new name for my channel. So hopefully I get this right. Um, Mid-sized and middle-aged because it me. <laughs> so yeah, I was, before I named it just like super generic Joy Mackey fashion and makeup, um, I was trying to come up with something that felt like a name and not just my name and everything was just like cheesy or taken or whatever. So um, yeah, recently it just kind of occurred to me, mid-sized and middle-aged. So now you can also find me on Instagram with that name. I think there's an underscore, mid-sized, underscore, and underscore middle-aged, because you can't use spaces on Instagram. Um, so yeah, here on YouTube, thank you for joining me. If you're new, <clears throat> subscribe. I do videos about once a week, give or take. Um, I expect that I'm going to have a second one this week too. So today is a Stitch Fix unboxing. Um, if you don't already know, I am a part-time stylist with Stitch Fix and I have a full-time makeup artistry business, which I've been doing for over a decade. Through the pandemic, I was kind of getting obsessed with looking at Stitch Fix unboxings, decided to start getting Stitch Fix, and then was like, I wonder if they're hiring. Uh, because, you know, I don't have enough on my plate. Let's take on more. But during the pandemic, things were slow for my business. I wasn't even allowed to do any faces and nobody was doing anything anyway. It's still a little bit on the slow side, but this is a slower time of year. Anyway, so yeah, I've been working for Stitch Fix since um, last July, um, part-time, as a stylist. So I get to work from home, which is really great, and I even get to style myself. So um, yeah, the last maybe like seven or eight that I've done here on this channel have all been when I style myself. It was funny, one of the comments for the last one, um, somebody was like, hey, I'm new to your channel, and um, set it all back, it looks like old lady stuff. And I was like, I picked it up for myself. <laughs> So I do kind of like old lady stuff, but like in a fashion way. Old lady, but make it fashion, right? Um, so today I actually do have on Stitch Fix clothes. I just got this sweater off of the Shop Your Look. Um, I love the balloon sleeves. Can you see the detail? Isn't that so pretty? This is from um, CC Sportswear, CE, CE Sportswear. Um, and I sized down because I had gotten a shirt from them before in a large and it was like really boxy and really, I mean, I don't even think it was supposed to be oversized, but it ended up being boxy. So I sized down to a medium. Um, if you don't know, I'm typically a size 12 or 14. I kind of toggle between the two. Typically for pants, um, I've been a 12. Typically for tops, I've been a large in the last few months, but um, sometimes I'm an extra large, sometimes I'm a 14. So, um, you know, you gotta be able to size down when needed. I'll kind of angle this down a bit so we can look at the rest of the shirt. Um, it's it's kind of a sweater. It's like a one of those thinner sweaters and it collects my dog hair real bad. Um, I feel like I could have done a large in this one. It's definitely more fitted style in general. Um, I probably could have, should have done a large, but um, it's fine because it's pretty forgiving and the sleeves are totally fine. Um, and then my pants, I think I had worn them once before on my channel. They're Driftwood and they have this cute little bandana print cuff, which I think is adorable. Um, they're probably supposed to be cropped. Sorry about that. Gosh, that's terrible. Maybe I'll edit that out if I know how. Um, so yeah, again, if you're new here, um, I don't really know how to edit. I'm slowly learning, very, very basic, but I do everything on my phone. Um, yeah, so before I do the unboxing, I also wanted to let you know what my other video is going to be. I just decided to subscribe for one month at least to try it to Newly. It's N-U-U-L-Y. Um, I will leave my link below and I think you get $20 off if you use it, but I can't even speak to it yet because I've never done it. But I've watched um, Sarah Kathleen does it and Little Box of Happy does it. So if you guys watch me, please like let me know because I love your videos and I watch both of you guys all the time. So they subscribe to, um, well, Little Box of Happy subscribes to like a hundred different things. I honestly, like I feel like I shop a lot. She's got like a lot of shopping going on. But the cool thing about Newly, and this is what kind of drew me to it, because I am trying to scale back on my shopping addiction as I was talking about in January. Um, I was gonna try to keep it going for February. That did not work out so well. I've hit discount fashion warehouse two times now. Oh, guys, I'm sorry, that's embarrassing. But anyhow, um, I also hit Marshalls. Oh, gosh, 
I'm so bad. So anyway, because I just, I already have way too much stuff and I get way too much stuff and I don't have room. Like I have a three bedroom house and I have two kids and two dogs and two cats. Like we are packed to the max here. Um, and we have an old house, so we do not have big closets and I have way too much stuff. So I'm constantly like getting rid of stuff, purging anything I don't wear within a couple months. Um, or I don't love. Anyway, so Newly is kind of cool because you rent it for a month and they do six items. So I got to choose any six items. They didn't pick it for me. So I chose six items. You choose your size. Um, and the interesting thing was a lot of things that I wanted were sold out in a large or a 12. So I ended up getting extra large in 14 for like four or five of my six items. So that should be coming in the next couple days. Um, I have some really cute things. I think they're going to be cute, but I don't know until I get them. So well, that'll be um, that'll be a fun video. And like I said, I'll leave my link below, even though I haven't gotten one yet. So I don't know like if I love it yet. But you do keep everything for one month, and then you have like a prepaid package that you just send it all back at the end of the month. They do let you buy the stuff if you want to buy any of it. Some of it might have already been worn before. Some of it might be new with tags and they'll sell it to you at a discount regardless because you're already paying for the monthly fee. So the typical monthly fee for the six items is $88. And because it's my first month ever doing it, I got it for $68, which was the only reason I did it because 88 just sounds high, doesn't it? It's like really, it's closing in on a hundred. So um, I thought it would be nice because then I'm not actually acquiring new stuff. I'm getting to try new stuff, but I'm not like, adding it officially to my collection. And because I cycle through so much and I just have way too many things, that's kind of nice. Like it's a handful of things to get to try and then you can get things that are like of that season. So I did get like a coat, um, a jacket. Um, I think I got like, I don't want to ruin everything. Okay, so I got things that were like seasonally appropriate and the next two weeks are going to be so cold in Central Ohio, like so cold. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you, if you're in the Midwest or the East Coast or anywhere in the North, like you guys are all going through it too. It's like, just get me through February. I feel like once I get through February, like we're home free. Even if it gets cold in March, even if it snows till April, like once I get through February, it's going to be okay. The, the light is there. All right. So back to Stitch Fix. Let's dig in. Um... I wanted to get things that were cozy and comfortable because that is what I typically wear most days because I'm not doing a whole heck of a lot. So my first item is from Z Supply and I've actually never tried anything from Z Supply and I've heard many good things about it. Um, is this kind of boxy Teodoro mock neck knit top and it's got this slouchy mock neck and I was so worried this was going to be really wide and really short. I don't think it's either of those things. It looks cute and it has a little bit of that balloon sleeve that I've been liking and a long cuff, which I also like. This is really cute. Um, I like the feel of it. I have a little bit of credit still left. So with my discount and the credit, I am going to keep at least one thing. Um, I'm thinking I might keep two things. Just, I mean, obviously it's going to depend on what I love, but I'm not keeping all five. That's the point. Um, all right, so that was one. Oh, and I didn't show you my bundle. Here is the other, because they had it, that one separated. So here is the other one. It's not like a super exciting looking bundle. I feel like once it gets warm weather, like you can get all five things together and get some of those bright colors that make the bundle exciting. All right, um, but I did give myself one blouse. This is from Nine Britain and it is a dark pink v-neck oh it's got like a bit of a scallop here can you see that yeah scallop neck v-neck and a little bit of a crossover which i don't think i realized it's kind of cropped and then it's got smocking in the back this is all going to be very hard to tell i feel like on camera um this isn't a stitch fix exclusive the Nine Britain Haley Scallop Detail Blouse. And it's interesting because sometimes I'll see things for myself that I never see for other people. And they're, ooh, some like weird light. It's that time of day where like the light starts shining into my studio really crazy. Um, 
So I don't really need a shirt like this, but here's the thing, when I style myself, I also wanna see things in person because I'm not in a warehouse. I don't get to see like displays of things at the office when I like go in. So it's nice to get, even if I don't keep anything, just to see things in person um, so that I can choose things for people that I feel like, well, I'll know what they look like in person. Um, they do have like, multiple photos not just like when you go to shop your look those lay flats is what they call them and then you click on the item and they'll see like the front and sometimes you can see the back i think they just started that you can always see the back for us when we style and they're totally different photos so sometimes i see things on shop your look and i'm like oh it looks really different so different anyway <laughs> all right oh this is very soft this is the kaylee Catherine long sleeve waist tie knit top. Oh yeah, it's gathered at the bottom. It's a grayish purple kind of cloud tie dye. It's really wide. It's really dolmany. It's not going to be flattering on me at all, but it does feel super cozy and super comfy. So this might be something that like most people would like, but I just know because of my smaller like area through here that I don't like to wear things that are super wide like that. But I wanted to try it again because I, I like trying things so that I can see them in person because that is something that with people asking for cozy and comfy stuff is one of the things I like to find if I can find it. Um, I wanted to try a pair of high waist black jeans and I think I mentioned that last time because I had gotten those Rachel Roy ones and they were only $44. God, that sunshine keeps like cutting. <laughs> um, so this is Judy Blue, and they're highly, highly distressed. So I will show you. You'll see once my leg goes in it. Very distressed, but I like really distressed jeans. I am actually like, I really like the look of these. I'm excited. Um, I need some black jeans. <laughs> need. I said that last time in one of my frequent watchers. She's like, <laughs> need. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. I know I don't need anything but I'm excited to try those. And then the other jeans I wanted to try were boot cut. Not everybody's gonna like this. They're more of like a flare. I want that like 70s high waist boot cut style. So I got a dark wash and I liked the look of these because they have that thick seam. I got them in a petite. So I'm 5'5", five five, but when I get boot cut or like flare jeans, especially the high waist ones, they're always like 33 inch inseams. 32 is short for, you know, a regular hem um, for a boot cut for some reason. They make them so long, so then you have to wear tall shoes and then they're still drying on the floor by two inches. So I decided to get the petite and they look like they're gonna work. So I'm excited, you guys. Both of those jeans look pretty cute. Um, I am excited about the Z Supply and about the dark pink blouse. Um, not as much the wide one, just because it's not me, but I think it'll be really cute on a lot of other people. So um, let's get to trying on, I'll be right back. So I have two of the items on right now. The um, Prosperity Tom Bootcut Jean in Indigo in a 12 Petite. The cost is $78 and the Z Supply Teodoro Mock Neck Knit Top in light purple in a large, and the cost is 62. Um, so the neckline's weird. I would say it feels like something is like pulling in the back and it's definitely like hitting at my natural waist. So if I was not wearing a high waist pant, then I'm not sure it would fit. Um, I love the color. I do think it kind of washes me out though. I love purple, but I feel like I need just a little bit more saturation in my color. And it is fleece on the inside, um, which is fine. It's like cozy, but I don't love the feel of fleece. I know a lot of people love it though. Um, super pretty. I haven't seen this much though. Um, so let me pan down for the jeans. Now the jeans I haven't looked at in a mirror yet, but they are absolutely the perfect length. I love the wash. The fit is amazing. I feel like they could be, no, I wouldn't even say like another half inch taller in the waist. They're perfectly, they're like hitting exactly where I like them to hit. Um, you know, my stomach is what it is. I don't love it, but um, I feel like I'd like to try this with 
Um, oh, I like the back pocket. I think, no, I thought there was a line down the middle. Is there? I'm gonna have to watch the playback. Um, I'm gonna try it on with a different shirt. So let me see how I like it with a shirt that fits me a little bit less boxy. As far as colors go, I love how like this deep saturated pink looks on me. The V is so deep, you guys. I would definitely have to wear like a cami or like, I don't know, like a cute sports bra so that it wasn't like cutting quite so low. I think if you were actually like a little bit chestier, it might look better, strangely. Um, but yeah, so it fits like more fitted and like hits at my natural waist. I think it's cute. I just don't think that I need things like this. Um, the fit is pretty good, but man, that is like, it's really deep, you guys. But I do like these jeans. I am very much considering these jeans. So let's try the others. I forgot to mention that shirt, the Nine Britain Haley Scallop Detail Blouse in Dark Pink in a large was $42. Um, super pretty if you need blouses, if you're wearing that kind of thing for work. Um, I would wear that probably for like meeting up with friends if we were doing that kind of thing, for sitting on outdoor patios, maybe for doing makeup work if I had something to kind of cover up that area, um, but just not doing a lot of that kind of stuff. And I typically wear like dresses when I do makeup because it's just like an easy one and done um, or like jeans and a cute comfortable top. Um, yeah, so that was 42. This is the Kaylee Catherine long sleeve waist high, not, I, it gets cut off. Um, it says gray, but I feel like this is kind of a purpley gray in large and $40. It is so soft. This is not fleece on the inside. It's a much lighter, thinner weight. I would with confidence send this to my clients who are looking for something cozy and casual and comfy um, for like at home work, for running errands. Um, it is not flattering at all. I feel like um, a cloud, <laughs> but it's so, so comfortable. Um, I feel like they might have a pair of joggers that go with this, which would be kind of cute for matching set, but I feel like I just gained the 44 pounds back that I lost. Um, I haven't changed into the last jeans yet either, so be back. And I think I'll put on my original shirt with the jeans just so I can see it with something that like I like the fit and the look. All right, be right back. All right, I have on the last jeans, which I'll pan down for. Um, they are the Judy Blue Adeline High Rise Distressed, cuts off, in black and a 12 and then it also says 31 slash 13 so i ordered them in a 12 but it says 13 slash 31. 31 is typically equivalent to a 12 but it says 13 and i will tell you they feel a little bit big so let me pan down and you can't generally tell these kinds of things but i pulled it up and i just thought oh there's like one of the things i like about wearing jeans is that you can get control out of them and these are like juniors juniors feeling i say juniors <laughs> juniors feeling and just like not jeggings because they're not that fitted but i'm going to back up um my foot might have gone into this giant hole like two times um overall they're fine like i mean if i needed needed black jeans then i think it might be different but um i've already got it animal hair on them. I'm sorry. Sorry, Stitch Fix. Um, so do a quick turn. As you can see, um, they are just not going to do it. So I think for me with this box, that super wide Kaylee sweatshirt was so comfortable. Like I'm very tempted because it's so cozy and comfortable. And then the boot cut jeans were aces, but I'm going to have to look at the playback. Tell me what you think, um, if you liked or didn't like things. Um, and yeah, so I think that there's at least the boot cut jeans, unless I see in the playback that they don't look very good. And um, maybe that Kaylee sweatshirt, maybe. <laughs> um, anyway, well, I'm so glad that you watched to this point. <laughs> and um, if you haven't already subscribed, like, leave a comment, all the YouTube stuff. 
and um, I will see you hopefully in a few days when I get my newly and we can do another unboxing and try on. Bye everybody.